Oh, <laughs> hi guys. I just got back from Tulum. I've got a couple of surprises for you. So let's go inside and start shaking. No, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh, I was just talking on my iAvocado 10. Today is a new day, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the very first episode of Strug Free Kitchen. Today, I'm going to make my specialty guacamole, as well as a spicy cilantro margarita. I'm never gonna stop making cocktails, don't worry. So why don't we just head on into the kitchen and let's get going. the cilantro, guac, chippers, mm. the tequila is spicy. Have you met my friends lime and agave? <laughs> Chili lime salt. Oh, f So I have labeled myself the guacamole expert because my very first job when I was 18 years old was at On The Border Restaurant. And one of the things on the menu was live guac where basically you would have like a full section and you would have to make guacamole for your table, like table side in front of them. And whenever anybody would come to visit me, like my friends or family or anything like that, they would always order it. And I was the worst waitress. I had no idea what I was doing. I don't know why they hired me. So I would make table side guac for people and then forget about all of my tables. I can't even tell you how many times I got stiffed. So today, what I'm going to be making for you is guacamole, which is my little twist on guacamole. And we're gonna use basically some of the leftover ingredients to make a spicy cilantro margarita. This is an Elise Taft staple. Where we're gonna start is with infusing our tequila. So you are going to have to plan ahead a little bit for this one, so like, just get better at planning if that's gonna be a problem for you. I took a cup-ish of tequila, and then you cut a jalapeno down the center, leave the seeds in, and I'm going to let this infuse for 24 hours. So let's set this aside, get to the guac. I've already cored my avocados. If you need to learn how to do that, just check out Anthony from Queer Eye and he can tell you all about the avocados. Anthony, this goes out to you, my number one love. This is actually like exactly how you would get the avocados when you would do the live guac. It was like all the little things were like prepped for you and cut in half and put in little sections and stuff. So this is basically uh, 10 years old of me preparing to do this. <laughs> Now I've got all my avocados. I'm using two avocados. Next I'm going to add my cilantro. This is about a tablespoon of cilantro. Usually I would use more, but because we're doing the kale, um, I'm gonna pull back on the herbs a little bit. And then this is about a tablespoon of scallions. The reason I like to use scallions for my onions is because it makes the guacamole monochromatic, which I kind of like. And I actually noticed when I was in Mexico this year that all the guacamole was like more simple than the way a lot of Americans make guac. Just a little tidbit. Um, and then I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of jalapenos. These have been de-seeded, so don't be like super afraid of it being spicy. I also like don't really need this to be super spicy because I'm having a spicy margarita. The um, jalapenos adds a really nice texture to the guac, so if you're afraid of heat, use green bell peppers instead. I just think it's really important um, to get that texture in there. Next, I'm gonna do a little chopping. Where's my knife? Oh. So for the kale portion of this, you're probably gonna use basically like one leaf of kale. It's not a lot of kale. Um, and I've already de-stemmed it, so all you're gonna do is cut it chiffonade. Chiffonade is basically like how a lot of herbs are cut, like mint, basil, and also it's just like a super fancy word. So I'm gonna dump this in here. This is like, look how pretty that looks. And I haven't even like mushed it yet. I use a shiz ton of lime. Half a lime per whole avocado, if you're like, trying to figure out the proportions if you're using more avocados. So this is half a lime. Fresh, squeezed. 
Also, you need that to get some like wetness. Wetness is the essence of moisture. So the way that you're gonna mash this guac up is with a little fork, and then we'll do like some action with a spoon in a second. Ugh. Okay, this is gonna be, I feel so awkward like not talking constantly when I'm like cooking. <laughs> I like don't know how to do this without being like that one time when I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel vulnerable. <laughs> so this is mostly all smooshed. And then last, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and I'm only gonna do a little bit at first um, because the best way to figure out how much salt to use is to taste it with the chip that you're using. So let's see. I like a chunky guac too. <laughs> I like a chunky. <laughs> Don't eat your hair. So this is pretty perfect. I'm just gonna add a smidge of salt. Oh my God. Well, whenever I make something that's really fantastic, I just want to make everybody in the world try it. So if you can eat through the camera, come on over. This is the last step. And this is like so uh, restaurant tip. The best way to clean up your cute little guac bowl is to use like a quarter lime. Y'all, check this out. This is going to be Pinterest ready, Insta ready. Look at that. Oh my, I'm, I'm gonna eat this, bye. <laughs> now I'm gonna use my little leftovers and we're gonna make a spicy cilantro margarita. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's been 24 hours and my tequila's ready. That was so quick. <laughs> Strain those halots out of your tequila. I'm using a cute little tea strainer. Sorry, Nick. That's my boyfriend. He doesn't know I'm using this. Ha ha ha. It's not how I laugh. It is. So now I've got my spicy tequila. And I'm, where's my, oh. Two ounces of tequila. And then I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. This is like basically the base of a regular margarita. Three quarters of an ounce of agave. Like a little tiny, it's basically like a tablespoon. This is not chopped. This cilantro has just been plucked. I'm gonna slap it. When you slap herbs, it basically releases all of the oils. So I'm not gonna muddle this because I'm gonna shake with the cilantro. And sometimes I think it's so easy to over muddle herbs. This doesn't really need it. So before I shake this, I've got a little salt mixture. So I'm gonna rim, always remember before you make your margarita, before you dump it in that rocks glass that you give it a little rim job first. So this is some salt and a little bit of chili lime seasoning. This is kind of inspired from a drink that I had in Tulum. It was like an avocado margarita with a grasshopper in it. And it was delicious. Okay, so let's shake. I made a version of these one year for Cinco de Mayo. And let's just say they were gone. So I'm gonna dump this in here. We're gonna dirty dump. If you don't mind like a little cilantro getting up in your grill, I just think that it looks so much prettier with the cilantro in there. Y'all, now you know I'm from the South. <laughs> okay, what I love about this is there's some heat, but the cilantro gives it like a really refreshing balance against the heat from the jalapeno. And then I'm like, oh my God, I just like, <laughs> I need some guac. Oh my God, mm, mm. I got the kale. Kale in my teeth, cilantro in my teeth. I've got vitamins. This is basically what I do um, when I'm alone. <laughs> it's like um, women laughing alone eating salad. That's me with a margarita and some guacamole. Mm. C 
seriously, y'all, what are you waiting for? Have a struck-free day. Go make yourself some guacamole, a little spicy margarita with some cilantro, and then uh, pretend you're uh, in Mexico.